All right, guys, I don't know how long, I don't know how long I have here today. Um, I wasn't gonna do this, but one, uh, one of my awesome viewers had texted me and was asking like about the live stream and said that um, she enjoyed the live stream. So I'm just gonna try. I figured I want, this is just something I just whipped up real quick. And uh, so we'll just go a little bit until I, uh, until I can't go anymore because <clears throat> I have a million things to do. <laughs> Excuse me. And then um, maybe we can pick up on uh, part two. So, you know, I would say if you don't mind, share the video. Share this real quick while I'm getting this prepared. All right. And then we'll, uh, we'll begin. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is cold here in New Jersey, freezing cold. So I'm actually, I'm actually sitting down today. Don't mind me, I'm just getting everything uh, kind of set up here. I want to set my phone up so I can uh, see your uh, comments. Right. Something like that there. So I just... Uh, so I just, I just painted this with black gesso like 10 minutes ago. So it should be, uh, it should be somewhat dry. And I just put some of the uh, Gamblin's clear, put some of their clear gel on there. So yeah, clear gel, black gesso, well, black gesso first, and then the clear gel. And I tried to, I tried to tape this to the easel because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an oval. There's really nowhere to, to grip it or clamp it to. That's another reason why I didn't do it on the, uh, on the other easel where I normally would stand up at. All right, so I'm going to start off here with some, let me mix up a color. I'm just gonna use like a blue and a white. I'm gonna go over top of some of these trees, but that's okay. So I'm just going to mix me up some white, like a super light blue color. See how that, see how that looks. Looks like a pretty color. Now I'm gonna to have to try to hold this Now, because I put white in here, it's going to kind of go right over top of that black because white is like opaque. So I'm gonna to try to wipe some of this off actually. So yeah, why don't you guys uh, type in the chat of where you're at? I always love seeing where everybody's watching from. You see, I wiped, I wiped some of that, uh, that paint off and I can still make out my, uh, my dark colored trees that I put in. So that seems to be working out pretty well. And I want it to be super light down here. So maybe I'll do these little circles. Sneak some right into here, put some over here. Super, super light down in here. Now I'm gonna darken up the top just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna get just the tiniest bit of blue. Just straight up, straight up blue. Maybe I'll put it right here, right over the top. Something like that. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna wipe the brush off. <clears throat> All right. 
So I wipe that off. I'll just I'll just blend this a little bit, just so it's not like some hard blue color, and then automatically like a light color, so it'll transition hopefully. Something like that. All right. So glad you guys are here. <clears throat> I always say this about the live streams. If if people, you know, if people are going to watch, I'll do them. You know, I just all I always ask is, you know, share the video. Do that for me whenever, you know, whenever I start, share the video, and I'll uh, I'll make sure like I keep doing them. You know, as long as you want people to watch, you know what I mean. Um, like this wasn't planned. I was literally just getting ready to leave because I have stuff to do. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, we got all kinds of people in here from different places. This is awesome. Love it. Love it. England. England. All right, so right away I'm going to start getting some color right down here. So I got this color in up here. Not worried about it. it did fade this out a little bit, but the dark is in there. All right. This tree is going to come right down just like that in the front. So I'm going to mix up some. I'm going to just use like some blue. And green and a little bit of black some blue green and black not I don't have a whole lot just a little bit I'll probably wipe it off a little bit but I don't have any of that gel down here at the bottom but I want to I just want to get some color down here now this is gonna move around on me <clears throat> which is all right Let me adjust this a little bit. Just give me one second. Hang on. I gotta make some adjustments so you guys can see the bottom. That should be good there. Now, move this in. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay. All right. I have a screen over here to the side so I can see what's happening. Going back to my color, black, green, a little bit of blue. I'm just spreading this, um, doing these little circles here. See, normally I would do this beforehand, like before I would start the video, just because this is like a pain to do this stuff. switch to my right hand now I probably could have used um, <clears throat> I probably could have used some clear some gel down here it probably would have made life a little bit easier but that's all right I just wanted some color down here. Okay. I'm just wiping off this uh, this brush right here. Okay. I'm going to continue to use this one inch brush. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to start back here. This tree's going to drop in the front, so I'm going to start putting a little bit of, I'm going to use green and yellow. So I just want to make like a, not a super bright color, just like a green color. One second here, let me just 
check something here. So I got me a green color. I probably could have used the fan brush for this, but we'll see how it works. We'll see how it looks. So I'm gonna start back in, back in here, and I'm thinking about, let's see how this looks. Well, and when I said the fan brush, because I gotta figure out a better way to hold this. I'm just thinking about some grass in the background here. And it, there's a tree that's going to go in the front, but I just want to get that background stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? So, let me... This is a little bit of a brighter color. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit so it's not all one color. And this is not like a final color, but this is just like a sort of like almost like a base color, I suppose, just for me to get an idea of where, you know, where it's going. Something like that, you know what I mean? Okay. Trying to make something simple, like simplified. So I guess maybe I won't, maybe I'll leave that tree back there, actually. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. I'm going to get a little bit of a brighter color. Still on the one inch. Still on the one inch brush. And I'm thinking light is going to be right in here. Somewhere in here like this, see? And you got to think about land and stuff. Where does it go? Something like that. Let's see. Go back to the darker color. Maybe a little bit of yellow ochre is always a good, good thing to mix in. I go I keep going back and like tapping in and stuff. I want it to be look like there's like different elements to this. And you see I'm just like I'm just tapping. That's all I'm doing is just tapping tapping away. Alright, so I'm trying to look at some of the questions as I do this. No, I, I'm not using a reference. This was a last minute idea. I have no clue actually what I'm doing. I'm just making something. And now I don't think I've ever painted any buildings. Maybe a couple like barns and things like that. But nothing other, you know, nothing other than that. So let's do this. Make this go like this. A little bit of the darker green, kind of coming here. You know, trying to leave some of that dark in. This is just like a layout, you know what I mean? Of what's going on here. Yeah, okay. Still with the greens, still with the greens. Trying to figure out where I'm going with this. Or how the best way to hold it, actually. Best way to hold it. moving on me. Now remember when you start off like um, with a ba base color is always good because you can always come back and you can highlight it at a later time which is great. If you start off with like your stuff is too bright then you could struggle. You know like even this here is a, a, a pretty bright color that I'm putting on right now. But I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to leave a lot of the uh, the dark in. I'm trying to leave that dark color in. Okay, so this way it just looks like some grass and a field, or you know, I'm not quite sure. It looks like something. All right, just because we're super short on time today, I'm going to um, work on a few of these trees in the background. All right, so whoop, there's our trees there. I'm going to get this brush out of the way. I'm going to take just green and yellow, almost the same thing that we've just been working with here. Green and yellow and some like yellow ochre. Start off with like a, not a super bright color because you can build your, uh, build your colors up. All right, so I guess let me try to hold this. I'm gonna to have to move the camera up. Let's see how that does. Something like that works. All right, and then I'm gonna start by just putting some of this color in here. could go back with a little bit of a darker color too. I might have started too light. That's okay, yeah. We'll get some darker color, some green and some black and blue. You can always, uh, you know, you can always change stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's better. A nice dark color. And some of that green is still like coming through, so. using this little baby fan brush here. You know, and the dark color doesn't really matter like too much as far as where you put it because, you know, it's the lighter color is what, uh, the highlight color is really what sends you where you need to go like as far as like shape and, and all that stuff. Let me get a little bit more of that blue green color and black just for, uh, for these guys over here. Let's put the dark on first here. some in here too, I guess. Actually, actually, I want to extend this one just a little bit. So I got some real dark color. Just bring them up a hair, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna just wipe the fan brush off. And now I'm gonna get a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm gonna mix some more yellow into that. And I think the best way to do like these types of things is to like work your, uh, you know, work it up to the bright, you know, brighter colors. Don't put just like a super bright color on. So let's start, I don't know the light, maybe the light, let's just figure the light's coming this way or something on the left. 
just for the sake of uh, lighting. You know, so then we could kind of come in here and start to, you know, put in these little, you know, these little areas here, the little lighter areas. You know, and slowly like work, work up. Well, not slowly, because I don't have time, but let's put in some of this uh, color in. See, so like that side's already, it's a little bit brighter. Let's go right over here real quick. And just put some in here too. Here. Right. Let's hit this guy too, or grab it. Like I said, remember this isn't like um, this is like a mid tone, maybe. I don't know, mid tone. So let's put some color in here. I guess we could, um, boy, I'm really running out of time. Put, let me wipe this off. Just like real subtle things down here, because this would probably be pretty dark. You know, just so you get an idea that there's something here. You know what I mean? something all right so now I'm going to get um, a little bit of a more brighter color so I'm just using more yellow just more yellow same fan brush <clears throat> now this is <coughs> excuse me this is where you probably don't want to overdo it but you know, maybe in a few little spots, put some, it's a little bit brighter. You know, a few spots on the edge. This will just help, you know, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but if you take your time and do this, it'll start to, you know, really build up into something pretty cool. The more time you spend on this, you know, the better off the tree could look, you know. I'm just kind of going a little quickly, but. <clears throat> just to give you <clears throat> an idea. You know, so lights like this way. You know. I'm gonna do one thing real quick because I'm running. I am running out of time. I'm gonna just take some white paint with some yellow, white and yellow, super bright color. And this is something that you could do too. You know, like pick out one tree, right? And I actually don't know how good you're you're gonna be able to see this. You know, if you just pick out one tree and really really go to town with it and work it up, build it up. I 
I think it really helps with like the, you know, dimension and things, you know. So I'm going to set that fan brush down real quick because I am running low here on time. And I'm going to take, uh, all right, so into the yellow with the one inch, right? Right into the yellow. And then I want to think about I just want to lower that just a hair. So I just want to think about, remember I was saying lights coming through here, somewhere like this, right? You know, so I want to start to, you know, think about areas, you know, that might capture that light. And then that pile that I made a little bit ago with that white and yellow in it, you could even, you know, really overdo it if you want, like I just did. You know, and start like really brightening up that, you know, that area right there. And then you can always go back to like a darker color well, not as bright, I should say. And put in, like, the edges, because I didn't really do the edges too good. But these are, like, the little, uh, you know, the fun little type paintings that I would recommend to do. You know, that don't take too long. It could be you know, 10 minutes or 20 minutes of your time or whatever. You know what I mean? And then, like, I'm trying to think here if I should do something real quick because I, I really, really should be not doing this right now just because I'm, I'm just so limited. I got, I got a bunch of commitments. All right. Um, hmm. Should I do this? Yeah, why not? All right, let me try. I don't know if this is going to work. If not, we'll just ruin it. No big deal. No big deals, right? All right. So I'm just going to probably just use the fan brush right now. I got some blue and white on here. Going to, hmm, no clue if this is going to work. We'll start here. I want to come down. Maybe I should do this. Like that. More white, more blue. Now, I don't have any medium down here at the bottom, so. thought that counts. Now I should have put some medium down here because I wanted to here, I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do it this way just because I know it'll be better. So yeah you're like what are you doing right now? You just ruined everything. That's okay. 
that is quite all right. Okay. All right, so we got that right there. Let me get some of our color. And I want to This is super dry, so, you know, if you do anything like this, I would definitely recommend um, using, like, some medium or something. I'm actually going to... So the most important thing is when you do something, don't feel, you know, don't feel, like, uh, panicked or whatever, you know? Don't, don't feel like, oh, no. Never feel panic. Just just roll with it, whatever it is. All right, I gotta get some black, blue, and some green real quick. I need to come right into this area here. And also here, like this. And I know some of that's gonna be gone, and that's okay. Because I just gotta get that dark color back in because because I'm changing my mind here, you know, with, with what I'm doing, so. And that's the fun part about when you're doing a live stream. Let's get that dark color in. Right. So everything I just did, I, I, you know, I guess technically I wasted it, but that's okay. Perfectly okay, because I'm going to come back in here. I just, I just want to pull some of that color down, that, that dark color. Just a little bit. All right, just like that. Okay, let me grab my knife real quick so I, I have an idea of where I'm going here. like this with the knife. Yes, I have an idea where I'm going. It's a lot of dark color. Let me go back to this fan brush real quick. Here. Let's do it this way. Need some brighter color. So that dark color, this dark color that I had down here first kind of got in the way a little bit. So look, watch this. So whenever that happens, look, you just scrape it off. Don't worry about it. Scrape it. Get it, get it out of your way is the most important thing to do. And then you can come back in here with the light color again. Let's put that light color in. Make some blue in here, make it look pretty. You know, so little lessons in life that you can learn. You know, and the good thing is, is like, let's say, you know, if you don't like this, you just, you do something different. You know what I mean? You start over, you know, and you do something very different. There's a lot of hairs in here. So I'm just getting that in there. So that's just like, uh, oh, there's hair up here too. Out 
All right, green and um, <clears throat> green and black. Just just a dark green color is fine on the one inch brush. Now, I'll turn this back. You guys can see it. So look, now I'm going. This is when what I was doing earlier. I'm just going to, you know, put a little bit of this, uh, like you know, land or whatever, whatever we want to call it, in. You know, same thing over here. Make it thinner back here because it is further away for perspective purposes. All right. You see, I'm just I'm just adding some dark back in, you know, to create the land or whatever. Okay. That's all I'm doing. All right. Now I'm going to try to carefully do this because <clears throat> wipe the wipe the one inch brush off here, and I just want to try to pull a little bit of this down because the last time I did this is what caused me a lot of trouble. And I'll pull it sideways a little bit. Just gives us that little water look, you know, inside there. So without wasting any time, I'm going to go right into, uh, a nice yellow color, nice yellow color, and then I'm going to you know, come in here and start dropping in some of this. Maybe a little green in that probably wouldn't hurt. A little yellow ochre and stuff, just to make it look uh, get some of that highlight color back. Same thing here. Let's do this. I'm just dip, I'm just dipping back into the yellow just trying to hurry up a little bit just because kind of get moving here you know, into the yellow ochre a little bit of red in here just to mix it, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. Okay. A little bit there. You can put a little red over here too. I guess it'll kind of tie it together, you know. wiping my hands off here real quick now I'm trying to think here the best way to put um, like a little water ripple in maybe the fan brush might do there's a lot of paint here so I guess I can give that a quick try you know by using the, uh, the fan brush you just gotta be careful because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of paint on here. And I, w I would rather use the knife. I'm on a very bad angle because of the camera too. So I gotta actually turn this.
just pulling this uh, sideways just to look like uh, some extra like ripples and stuff. See what I'm saying? I don't have um, I don't have any uh, I don't have any paint thinner right here with me, but but. I guess it would probably be cool if there was like a you know like a tree right there maybe right another little one right there I'm trying to wing this really now. I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna use the fan brush here. I need some light. Get some light. Oh, what I was saying is I don't have any paint thinner, so. Can't make effective little, little branches, you know what I'm saying? But if I do, we can just go make one there. Let me fix that. Like this. Take your time when you're doing your if you're doing something like this, don't don't be like me and just you know rush through everything. Maybe there's a little little stuff in here, see? So, all right, well, I don't know. I just, all right, so there was a little live I did, you know, nothing great, nothing, nothing special, but I do have to get going, and I was just, uh, wanted to do something nice, because, uh, some, you know, a couple people had actually been asking me, you know, I'll keep doing these as long as you guys share them and like them, you know, so this video will go up when it, when it ends, so just let me know, it, come back to the video in the comments, and just, like, seriously, let me know if you guys like this, you know, or if you don't, either way. Let me know, but I got to run. And I'll, see you guys. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right? Take care.